guys, we've got another One Life tutorial today. We're going to look at this Ford Fiesta 2007 model and it's a broken clutch master cylinder. So this part here connects directly to the back of your clutch pedal. And you can see it, it's just made of plastic so these snap easy. So this is snap, we're going to take the master cylinder out, the old, old one, and replace it with a new one. Right, so what we're going to do is, we're going to replace the clutch master cylinder. This is the new one. And as you can see here, it's got this plastic bit, which on the old one snaps off. Again, it's just through, you know, wear and tear. It's done a few miles, this car. Right, if you want to come and have a look here. This, now it's hard to see on the camera. I'll get another angle for you in a minute. But this unit sits behind the clutch pedal at the very back, up high, out of the way. But we'll cut to a better view of that now. As you can see, this is the master cylinder. So we've got in right at the back of the pedal box now, behind the clutch pedal, up high. It's pretty fiddly to get to. And we might have to go in through the engine side yet, yeah. but we'll get to that bit very soon. Right guys, so we finally got out the old one. This is the new one now, I've just been putting the spring back on it. But I'll get the old one here. So as you can see, it's the bit that snaps and this little piece of plastic goes into the back of the clutch pedal and gets operated by the clutch pedal and pushes the fluid to the clutch when you press it. We'll get rid of that, the old one. Watch the uh, brake fluid on your hands too, it burns a bit. Right, so to get to that, we've got to remove the plastic cover piece that goes along here. And to remove that, you have to remove both windscreen wipers. It's just one bolt on each wiper. Uh, they're a bit stiff to get off but you just give them a good wiggle and they will come off and then the plastic piece will simply pop off there's one screw at this end to in that trim piece and just in case you're wondering this is the piece so that that sits roughly like that before and so we got that off and then you can get to the back i don't know if you can come and have a look down here see a hole now and there's a pipe here that i've just put up out of the way so it don't leak and another pipe further down that's just dangling loosely underneath the silver one and those two pipes need to be disconnected from the back of the uh, cylinder so it looks like that the back of it and you simply get a screwdriver in the little clips there pop them out pop them out and the pipes will pull off right so as you can see we've took the uh, driver's seat out because you can do it without but it's really hard to get to so for easy use it's only four bolts just whip it out and it's out of your way so the unit itself has got a spring on it you can see that there now this spring connects to the back of the clutch pedal it's just to give the clutch pedal a return so it pings back and you can't get to it when it's up there so i've had to take the clutch pedal off first just to get the spring off basically and the unit itself like i showed you earlier on in the video stuck up there it's just got the two bolts which you can see on that clip earlier which go into the side of the master cylinder and it is literally just that just take your time and you'll get them out for a bit of perseverance so to get the new one back in it's just a case of pushing it back up into its position it's got its own little slot so it's easy to find that and then the best thing to do first is get your two bolts in so it's secure and in position and then you can worry about the pipes on the other side and the spring and the clutch pedal but we'll get to that anyway so for now i'm just going to get this back in get it bolted back up and uh, pop those pipes back in that i just shown you on the engine side and then i'll update you on the clutch pedal bit right guys that's job done we've got the master cylinder back in bolted up hoses connected uh, the clutch pedal back on, the spring for the clutch back on and when, we, when I first turned it on I thought nothing was happening at first there was no feel to it and I couldn't get it in gear but I just needed to give it a few revs and, and pump the brake a bit because it all runs off the same system, the same fluid got to pump the clutch a bit a few times to get it going and you start to get the fuel back and then eventually it let me put it in gear and it works then, it's fine so I got the seat back in, it made sure everything was tightened up and we're good to go if you need to do this job yourself, it's an easy job, it's a DIY job, you can do it yourself at home, don't bother with the garage, but it's very fiddly, and it's just awkward to get to more than anything. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. 
If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated. My name's Sam Clark. You're watching One Life. Peace. Bye.